All right, we're going to talk about scalar multiples and matrices. And we're going to do that with the context of the problem. So it hopefully makes it a little bit easier. It says, suppose you are having a group of friends over for dinner. You decided that you were going to buy four pizzas and salads and four salads to share. Create a matrix to display the itemized cost at each of the restaurants. So the first thing you'll notice is we are not going to spend money on drinks, big old waste of money at a restaurant. So we're going to take those out. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a matrix just for the pizzas at each one of the restaurants. So I'm going to eliminate drinks and you'll see that this is going to start coming in here by its organized restaurant. So let's do that. Now, the one thing that you're going to pay attention to or hopefully see is that you want four of each of them, which essentially is going to take all of these costs and just simply quadruple the costs, meaning we are going to multiply everything by four. And the way we show that is we just put that four right out in the front. We say we are going to multiply it. And that is how we write a scalar multiple with, um, with matrices. And that just says that everything is going to get multiplied by four. Well, how do we do that then? We just go ahead simply distribute the four in there. And you can use Desmos, you can use your calculator, you can do anything. So we'd say like four times 12.16, and uh, that's gonna be $48.64. We'd then do four times 10, which is $40.40. We do four times uh, 1086, which is $43.44. We do four times 1065, which is 42 dollars and 65 cents. And we continue doing this until we have finished them all off. And what we are displaying is the cost of each one of the items if we bought four of each of those items. Okay, and that's what this matrix is showing. Well, if we continue to work it down, we could also then stretch this out as not only do we have the cost for four of each, at each restaurant, uh, we can then go ahead and even stretch it out a little bit more. It says the tax in NC is 7.5%. Write a statement using a scalar multiple that will show the itemized cost of each of the items. So not only do we want the cost, we want to go ahead and make sure we know that um, we are going to be adding tax to them. So we could say, okay, well, let's get down here and bring in all of our costs per four pizzas and four uh, salads. We can now add tax to it. Okay, so what do we do if we're going to add tax to this? We are going to use a scalar multiple because tax is going to apply to each and every item. And if we know in North Carolina it's 7.5% tax, we're going to go ahead and change that 7.5% to a decimal. So that is 0 0.075. And remember, tax is adding or making it grow. So it's going to be a growth rate. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in front of it. I'm going to say 1.075 and multiply by 1.075 to make it grow. And now what we're going to do is we are going to multiply our new scalar multiple on each one of these. It's going to be 1.75. I'm going to leave it up to you. You're going to go into Desmos or your calculator, and now you're going to multiply everything by 1.075 to increase each one of those items by the tax rate of 7.5% in North Carolina.